Hello, Criminal Minds fans! We're up to Season 7, Episode 7 of Criminal Minds. It is currently St. Patrick's Day. I have my green right here. Um, I promised y'all we would do a drinking game for Criminal Minds. For I said it earlier, I also said it uh, because of the last time we did it, many of y'all said that I missed things. I didn't do it fully, you know, there were things I missed, so you know what, this is me saying, I apologize, I will be better this time. So, if you are, you know, ready for a good old fun time, uh, you can watch this with friends, you can watch this with, you know, whatever, you can take these drinking things and, and do it yourself, you can make a whole fun time out of these next four episodes of Criminal Minds. We're going to be doing this. So, um, up to you how you want to do it, how you want to play this forward. Uh, but I will be participating. I'm ready. And here are what you must take a sip or drink for. If someone dies, take a drink. If anyone mentions Emily's death, you take a drink. If Rossi's books or ex-wives are mentioned, take a drink. Hotch smiles, take a drink. Garcia with a clever line or some kind of fancy line when she answers the phone and she's like, blah, 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 you know, take a drink. Uh, if Morgan says baby or baby girl or some kind of flirtatious thing to anybody. Uh, if there's a familiar guest star in the episode, so if you recognize, or if I recognize, or if somebody recognizes, well, I have to recognize, like, if you recognize them, not somebody else, but like if you recognize them, take a drink. If the name unsub is given, or if Reed gives a fact about anything, you take a drink. Um, I think I'm also going to add here, because I feel like we're missing a more JJ and Emily thing. I mean, we have, we have Apprentice Death thing, but I'm going to add one final thing. JJ slash Emily show queenness. So queenness. What does that mean? That means they're showing a moment where they should wear the crown. Where they're badass. Where they're just amazing in every aspect. All right? And that is what we're going to do. I'm going to miss some, probably. Uh, that's fine. It's going to happen. But, oh well. <laughs> Here we go. It's not on, is it? <gasps> I caught myself. Oh, this is like the first time ever. On. I love this because it's like you're guaranteed to take us up. That's some crime. He's dreaming or he's having some sort of problems. You okay, man? You all right? It's coming, man, it's coming. Obviously you have multiple... Oh god, is this like some ritual thing? Yep, here we go. Here we go! That is a terrible way to die. That is a drink. Thought you had a few days off. Two missing kids. What's the case? It's about some missing kids. Guess you gotta go in there, huh? 
Please don't walk away like that. We've talked about this. Uh oh. Are y'all having problems? This is hard on you. What if it was Henry? No. No. It's not Henry. Henry's right in there. What if it was? Please don't have problems. I like y'all. No, I know you're right. It's just. He's just worried about you. Things were better when you went to Pentagon. I wasn't helping anyone there, Well, You work no more hours and weekends off. Really, I got this. I'll see you when you get back. Damn. You're not fear. Oh, I get antsy when I'm gone too long. <laughs> and thanks for the team's donation to ALS in Caroline's name. No. She would have appreciated it. So how you doing? I'm okay. It's funny though. We were divorced 20 years. And I never missed her as much as I do. I mean, her. technically that counts. <laughs> he talked about his ex-wife. Hey, you. Welcome back. Good to be back, Penelope. We're ready when you are, sir. Did he smile? Do I think he smiled, too. Son of a bitch. I found in Wichita, Kansas, a week apart. Both were Caucasian and between the ages of 15 and 17. Well, the death blow in each case was in almost exactly the same spot. Now, what about all the other damage to their bodies? Some of their limbs are missing. Yeah, victim number one, his right leg was taken off. Victim number two, both arms were severed. Ew. Because of the tornado or the unsub? The tornado would clear the air and give the unsub the privacy to... I mean, I feel like it's possible the tornado could do that, but... Forensic countermeasure, wind, hail, rain, Mother Nature destroys the crime scene. Faster, of course, you get me ideas on all the victims. And the gale force wind? Wheels up in third. Oh, and pack for foul weather, the forecast is nasty. I think that worked that that counts. <laughs> He's chasing the storms. For the man sound of body and serene of mind, there is no such thing as bad weather. Every day has its beauty. And storms which whip the blood do but make it pulse more vivid. I should have done quotes too. They do quotes every episode. What the hell? Tornadoes do pose a significant threat. During this year's super outbreak back in April, there were 336 confirmed tornadoes in just several days, resulting in over 300 lives lost. Thanks, Ray. Hey, tell us I'm good, Mom. Okay, so local PD have ID'd your victims and putting this. Both of these kids have records for possession of prostitution. They were street hustlers. They're what? Kids. This could be a sexual predator. An extremely violent one if the unsub is responsible for the damage done to the bodies, especially those missing limbs. Well, now he could be keeping the body parts for some sort of fetish. Yeah. Oh, okay, ew, that is my cue. I'm here to use my binary machines that don't say gross things. I don't know if, uh... I didn't know you were a bad flyer. No, I just hate turbulence. You know, turbulence very rarely causes planes to crash. It does make absolutely no good Thanks, at the moment. Thank you. What we really need to worry about are microbursts. It's some downbursts of air associated with thunderstorms, but a small craft like this, if we hit one of those at the wrong altitude, it can pulverize. I beg of you to make him stop. I'm gonna say that's, that's just, that goes hand in hand. A tornado outside Wichita killed two and injured nine last night. Ooh. The Twister, which classified as an F2 on the Fujita scale, is the latest in a freak series of storms to hit late Damn. this season. More harsh weather is expected as officials prepare for the worst. You say you were able to clear this place before the storm hit. I didn't know you could do that for tornadoes. Well, we get enough lead time to try to clear all the mobile home parks. The last place you want to be in a twister is a mobile home. The trailer. It goes yeah. off the main roads, too. Okay, so the unsub either found a way in or he was already was a tornado during the evacuation. Something like that a couple weeks ago. Sucked up into a puddle cloud I was making videos during it. <laughs> when he came into close contact with this storm. Okay, so he's impulsive, probably young, maybe a loner with nothing to lose. Yep. We should be looking at actual storm chasers. Where can we find them? They mostly work with the university. You think this guy's educated? Hmm. He knows enough about the weather to use it to his advantage. I, I wouldn't say so educated, far. educated enough. <laughs> Knowledgeable. Enough. Not educated. When's the last time you saw Jason? The day you ran away? Jason Derulo. A little Sorry. over a year ago. <laughs> He came and he hugged me just like he always did before he went to school. Your foster mom said that you used to get in a lot of fights before Eric got there. That's my boy. Nobody messes with me because nobody messes with him. So he looks out for you? Yeah, we look out for each other. When was the last time you saw him? 
about uh, three weeks ago. Ooh. Said he was running to the store and never came back. What if he used to be one of them? And those kids would see right through someone trying to be a poser. Because I'm always connected to the weather, I was going to try to grab another boy soon. That's a major system expected tonight. He already has one. Uh, d does he already have one? Hey, uh, any of you guys want a party? Got some tuss, a little weed too. It's too young. It's a hundred. I got fifty. What the hell? Yeah, I'll throw in a couple sixers for you and your boys. Shit. I don't know what number he's at. He's killed two? I thought he had more. Oh, I'm slapping the house is full, but you all that? Yeah, two weeks ever. Can't apologize enough for the delay. Statistically speaking, Before it's very rare that a male would be a prostitute. Times. Old folks, heart attacks, and strokes. Drink uh, for me. I'm from New York. Not a uh, whole lot of action out here in Wichita. You guys are right here. Especially a so male as young as them. Well, that's what tipped me off, not to mention they're both John Doe's. Kids this age, we claim fast. They had alcohol and dextromethorphan in their systems? Cough medicine. Yeah, same with a lot of kids. It's a cheap high, free if you can steal it. And these two have a lot of medicine? On board. Really? What were you able to determine from all the damage to the bodies? Those are chopped off, I'm guessing with an axe or a cleaver. Yeah. Dude's just no, casually eating food uh, looks around that like body. damage at the stumps. They both have ligature marks on their wrists and ankles, at least what they have left of them. Oh, did I? I feel They're like I missed something. Did I drink for the other person dying? restraints. He held them before the chill. Was there any sign of sexual assault? Very yeah, inconclusive. All the damage made it impossible to tell. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> I hope you get struck by lightning. What, you scared to lose again? Alright then, gentlemen's bet. That's my boy. He's holding a body in there that he cares about. But behaviorally, it's the most intact crime scene you've encountered so far. It's the same blow to the head, but no cuts, no abrasions. They're just missing his torso. It's only a matter of time before he missed one. Tornadoes are extremely unpredictable and sometimes last only a matter of minutes before they dissipate. The Thanks, Reed. He will leave his previous victims directly in the path of one is astounding. So the conditions were perfect last night, but his tornado never came. It's only been four days he's accelerating. And the weather's driving him to do it. Guys, we is he creating a body? Loyal to the body parts they take, but I think that this ensemble is loyal to the whole of these parts. If you were to take the missing pieces from all the victims so far, you could almost assemble an entire body. That's what I just said. So he's not taking bodies apart. No, he's creating one. He's putting one together. He's we're making a white somebody. Male in his mid to late twenties. Jeffrey Dahmer, serial killer, was under the delusion that he could create young male sex zombies that wouldn't resist his advances. And when Dahmer's test subjects died, he kept their body parts as souvenirs. Skulls, hearts, even genitalia. But we also think he might be some sort of symphorophiliac. I'm sorry, symphor what? Uh, excuse me. A what? Symphorophiliacs. They're sexually aroused by disaster, usually fires or traffic accidents. In this case, the weather must enhance his excitement. I've he never heard of that kids. before. So, all right. So he's making a body. That's what he's. he's and he fever. thinks it's like a real body. Uh, what? I said it's normal for kids his age. But his fever broke. Yeah. It's back again. Okay, I'll call you when my flight arrives. You don't have to do that. Henry's sick. I'm coming home. Call you later. It's fine by me. Queen activity. I've been thinking, the vast majority of unsubs of this type of MO aren't driven by the killing. They're merely fascinated by the body parts. It's psychologically, they exist in a realm where fantasy meets delusion. It's basically the perfect blueprint for a creation of a serial killer. I'm rambling, aren't I? Yes. Which probably gets the point. I think I know where this unsub may have gotten started. I think he stopped in time. I'm not counting that. True, but most body part collectors evolve to this level, and in many cases, they exhume bodies for parts before they start killing. So we're we're assuming there's a fourth victim. Do you think our unsub did the same thing? PG for service, Dolphin and Blue. Baby girl, you're on speaker. So he's just missing the head. Wave robberies in Tornado Alley over the last five years. 
grave robbing was still on trend. How many of those involve the bodies of teenage boys? Uh, none. Uh, sorry, what about the morgues and funeral homes? Again, that is a list that should not be that big. <laughs> and mostly stolen embalming fluid, though. It's often used like PCP, Garcia. For thefts involving body parts, specifically left legs. Okay, uh, see, this is why I can't talk about how my day was. It's dinner. <laughs> that was your day? Great, I look for a leg. Spencer, you scare me. Join the club. A left leg was stolen off a body a year ago at the Regio Funeral Home in Tulsa. Okay. They never found who did it. It's still three victims. Like an area at the time. But the guy who, whose leg was stolen, he was a 47-year-old father of two who died of leukemia. That's a huge jump. That is a preferred massive jump. Offenders don't usually stray from their preferred age range. Can explain what or who he's building. Whatever it is, the sunset won't stop until he finds a perfect head. It's the final piece to his puzzle. No. 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 Which one? No. No. He found it. It's the older one. Shit. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm see. I'm wondering if he's gonna take him. I'm wondering. You tell me the best way to get to I-135? Yeah, back that way. See, I, I, I question why. Why would he hit him in the head? Um. Okay. Uh, what about out of Kansas City? No. Um. Okay, thanks. She can't get home. Hey, thought you were out of here. Uh, flights are canceled because of the weather. Oh, he left the kid alive. Okay. Watch. There's been another abduction. A boy named Sean Rutledge, his younger brother Billy. So he wanted him so badly he was willing to leave a witness? Because of his head. Jesse's he's losing touch with reality and his delusions are starting to take over. What is it about this kid that was so attractive to him? His head. He was teenage and Caucasian like the his others, head. right? Holla at your girl. Baby girl, I need those great, big, beautiful brains of yours. Jeff, hands ready. Give me. Okay, look at all the teenage male victims of tornadoes in the last 10 years. Same geography as before. I got two for you. The first up is 27-year-old Justin Harris, left the DUI in 2008. Next is 22-year-old Travis James. Ooh, what a troublemaker. Shoplifting possession. That's him. Institution. Oh, my. And all when he was a minor. Shoplifting, shoplifting prostitution, and possession? None. No. You got a photo on this guy? Yeah. Yeah. Why you put up such a fight? Oh my god, this poor kid. In 2001, Travis James lost his big brother, Tucker, and his mom, Jan, when a tornado hit the McCleary trailer park in Enid, Oklahoma. That's just south of here. Sorry. Oh, hell. Damn it. Hang on, Garcia. That's, That's not helping. Garcia, yeah, I think we're good. Keep going. It appears this Gulch character was a notorious pedophile in the area, and he was a resident of the same trailer park as Travis and his family. Okay, please oh, report now. Looks like brother Tucker had confronted he and his brother went to Gulch's mobile home. And did what? That, yeah, that looks like him. That looks like his older brother. Holy shit. It's gonna be okay. It's a tornado, get out of here! Oh, yeah. Ooh. He then ran to a drainage pipe nearby. The home gets swallowed up by the tornado. And when he came out, there was nothing left. Ten years ago, his brother got ripped apart. Now he's trying to put him back together. But why start killing now? We're seeing some current weather reports for the area, including radar images, if you have them. Could there have been a... You shall receive what was the trigger? On your tablets. With the weather in the area, he's going to be so excited he won't wait. He'll take the boy to the closest area with the most activity. That's right around here, just southeast of us. It's Frankenstein. What? Yeah, basically. He wants up, isn't just trying to put his brother back together. He's trying to bring him back from the dead. Oh, yeah. Let's see, what have you got? 
Sir, I found your trigger. A year ago, a tornado ripped through a cemetery near Tulsa. One of the 53 graves that was disturbed was that of Tucker James. His brother was killed by a storm, then his memorial was destroyed by one. Uh, he was using both to build a memorial of his own. If I see a patch into their radio chatter, they'll know when the storms are. On it, my pretty son. There we go. <laughs> Rode our bikes, what, 10 miles to go see them girls? Oh, God, what were their names? You thought you were going to get laid. <laughs> and that chick puked herself so bad, I thought I'd die. Do you remember that? Why do you keep fighting, you dumb son of a bitch? You know what? Here, I'll show you. Shanti hasn't done it already. I mean, he needs that ritual storm, I guess. You need to head to those areas in the most precipitation. Go see, we just lost our internet. We need you to guide us into the storm. Confirm your eyes and ears, sir. Hey guys, a twister has been spotted near Rose Hill, just south of your position. The uh, storm chaser dudes are calling it oh, a Oh, what if he spot. dies from a that one. tornado? Are relatively insignificant. Uh, they're swirling and hook-like radar signatures that look surprisingly like what you'd expect them to. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't see anything like that. They'll likely form of those red and violet areas on the map. No, wait, 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 no, I, yes, yes, I see. Oh, that's gotta be it. Yes, yes. Where did I see it? Oh, no, no. What? What is it? There are two. Oh, oh shit. Uh, okay. Keep doing that. It might snap off. Hey, I, I just got a hit from the storm chaser dudes on the RV. You guys are the closest. Okay, I'll keep going. Where are we talking, Garcia? Heading east on Sumner Road, just north of your position. Make a left. Y'all are gonna have to hurry. for him to do anything with that axe right now. gonna die from the no way see that's what I said that's what I would have done shine and shine and fall and shoot and twinkle oh so bright and he said mommy I'll run away if you make me say goodnight 
no matter how big you grow, and even if you stray far, I'll love you forever, because you'll always be my baby star. Queen. That was a wild one. That was a wild one. Um, sentencing is the death penalty. Uh, I don't know. Do I need to explain that? I don't. I'm not sure. Um, it was past extreme. It was way past extreme. It, it definitely crossed the line. The the mutilation of the bodies, the putting it together, um, creating a whole another body. You know the the kids aspect definitely all right moving forward um jj and will right they're amazing and they need to stay together because they're just perfect <laughs> um anyways that is it for episode seven of season seven like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already, and we are going to get forward on more of this Criminal Minds goodness. I will see y'all next time.